This video is a brief overview of how to calibrate or linearize film with the Harlequin RIP. To begin, you will need to create a calibration strip. First, you need to press the Print Calibration button to create your calibration strip. This opens a Print Calibration window. In the Print Calibration window, you want to select your output device. For this example, we'll choose an AccuSet Image Center. The next thing to do is to choose which colors to calibrate for. When doing film, choose monochrome only. You don't need to calibrate each individual color. Press the Print Uncalibrated Target button and the RIP will create a calibration strip. Let's see what the calibration strip looks like in the RIP viewer. I'm going to open the target in the viewer using the Roam button. And then what I'm going to do is open a reduced Roam view and layer that on top of the regular Roam view. When calibrating film, I suggest you work in negative. This is what your calibration target will look like when roaming it on the screen. The purpose of calibration or linearization for film is not only to make sure that you are producing the proper dot percentages, but also to check that the film is being properly exposed. If you are unsure if your exposure is correct, please watch our video on setting exposures called Using Exposure Sweep in the Harlequin RIP. Film calibration requires that you have a good quality densitometer which is functioning properly and is calibrated properly itself. Choosing the proper densitometer and calibrating it is beyond the scope of these Harlequin RIP tips. If you have questions about this, please contact us at CompuDoc or contact your film supplier for guidance. The next step is to actually image your calibration strip on film. With a densitometer, read and record the values for each of the percent swatches on the calibration target. Now you must enter the values that you read for each percent screen into the RIP. Begin by going to the Calibration Manager and choosing the output device you are using. For our example, we are calibrating an AccuSet 1000. Because we are calibrating film, we do not need to calibrate for each color. Choose Monochrome from the Color Space pull-down menu, then hit the New button. The Edit Uncalibrated Target window will open. You will need to name this calibration. I suggest using the date that it was made. Next, you will need to set the measurement parameters and media settings. In our case, I used a negative dot setting on my densitometer and was reading negative film. When calibrating film, make sure that the value of 0 is always 0 and the value for 100 is always 100. If these aren't the readings you got on your densitometer, the densitometer is not properly calibrated or not using the correct settings. You will also want to keep forced solid colors checked on when linearizing film. The next step is to type in the values you recorded while reading the test strip. Note, if your value for 50% is off by more than 8 to 10%, you may not be using the proper exposure settings. You should go back and watch our video on using the exposure sweep in the Harlequin RIP to make sure your exposure values are correct. You will notice as you type in values that the graphic representation of the calibration curve changes to represent the status of the uncalibrated film. If you see any very large spikes in this curve, they would suggest that you have inaccurate readings, typed a wrong number, or have problems beyond what basic linearization can correct. Press OK in the Edit Calibration window to save your settings. You will notice a new calibration set appears in the Calibration Manager. Press OK again. Don't press cancel at this point or the changes will not be saved. The next step is to associate the new calibration with the page setups that control film output. Open the page setup manager. Open the page setup you are using to make film. You will have to repeat this step for each page setup that creates film output. Make sure that the resolution in the page setup is the same as the resolution you used when creating the calibration. While dot shape and LPI usually don't matter when doing linearization, resolution does. If you output more than one resolution, you will need to make a linearization for each resolution. To set the calibration in the page setup, go to the Calibration and Dot Gain section. In the Calibration pull-down menu, choose the calibration set you just made. Click OK here and also in the Page Setup Manager to make sure your changes take effect. To test your linearization, open the Print Calibration window, 
Choose a page setup with the new calibration curve applied to it. Choose Print for Monochrome Only. And press the Print Calibrated Target button. Allow the calibrated test strip to image to film and read the values for the various dot percentages as you did with the unlinearized strip. If the values read within a tolerance of plus or minus 2%, your calibration has been successful. Check your calibration on a regular basis to make sure it remains accurate. You should also check it whenever you change film, after you have cleaned the processor, or changed chemistry. If you appreciate our video tips, please visit us at our website, www.c-doc.com, and consider letting us help you with your pre-press and press service supply and equipment needs.